And this is best of five, as will be all of uh, top 24, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So we got like a pretty, and this is winter side too, right? So kind of crazy, especially taking note that people like Me Mike Hayes, Mega Xmas, right. Jay Squid are all on the loser side. Albert. Right. So yeah. pretty good showing from uh, Diplomatic Toucan to make it here. Yeah, Diplomatic Toucan taking down Smash Daddy as well as John Lemon on his way to top 24 winners. So nice little run from him. Yeah. We'll and it's see. not over yet. Yeah. We'll see if he can continue it against the likes of Army. Tries to get that Nana kill, but not quite. Good separation, but Nana is a little bit tricky to deal with sometimes. Ooh, kind of has the right idea, but not the right execution, right? Because he split up the Ice Climbers with the Shine, but right. kind of just got stuck in his movement a little bit. And by that time, Popo was able to come back and uh, yeah. get the Fox out of it before he could get the Nana KO. So. Right, and the sloppy ledge dash is going to lead to the kill. But he does get that Shine on Nana, and key that he was able to grab the ledge without having to up B there, because right. that would have led to a lot of damage for Army. Oh, definitely, especially when he gets like a down smash and a uh, edge guard sequence. Right. And that's too much. But here is the real test. How quickly can he kill the Popo after earning that Nana stock? Yeah. Going for that dash attack. A little risky. Okay. Oh, Ooh, wow. wow. So good from oh, Army. And he's got the edge guard set up, but Diplomatic Toucan going straight up to avoid that edge guard. Smart stuff from him. Almost a huge reversal. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Very smart. From Diplomatic Toucan, knowing that that disjoint on the down air hitbox from Icy's, even when it's Sopo, is so strong and opts to just kind of wait for it. Oh, wow. I think that, that was an interesting little mix-up from Army because a lot of times you'd go into like the down throw, down air setup right. and then try to get the re-grab that way. Okay, that's giant. Beautiful, though, from Diplomatic Toucan taking that stock in all of three seconds. Oh, my goodness. Back to even. Gets the split up. Oh, tries to get the jab oh. like he did in the previous stock. Not yeah. going to be able to get it there. And he gets the shine, but sends oh. the wrong direction, and that up air will lead right into the wobble for Army. Diplomatic Toucan almost had Nana dead on this stock, too. It's got to hurt. Yeah. Those slight errors are going to matter so much in a matchup like this, right? Oh, yeah. Ice Climbers thrive on those. Yeah. And he's got to watch out for those anti-air up airs that Army's been doing in center stage with the little short hops, right? Because yeah, Diplomatic Toucan has been trying to approach from those platforms at like the kind of diagonals, mm -hmm. and Army's really good at catching it, and Nana's gone. Yeah. He tried to save her, but a little bit out of range of that up E. Wow. Had the right idea, but missed time the forward air. Yeah, a little bit late on it. Gets a little bit of a tech chase here into the down smash. Oh, wow. Ooh. What a punish with the up air on the side B. Yeah, almost who's going to hit that tech? Almost no. I've never seen that before. Wow. What a trade. That so was. So smart from Army. Maybe that was like a, work. like a Falcon esque edge guard. How you go for like yeah. the soft knee and you right. trade. I guess a lot of characters <laughs> will do that with right, their respective right. moves, but I haven't really seen it too much with Ice Climbers. Well, like the only that. time it would really be good for Sopo to do is in that suicide stock situation where yeah. you're up a stock already and it's their last stock. Like, that's. That's pretty much the only time you would want to go for that is Sopo and Army making it work. Yeah. Oh, gets the jab reset, but accidentally turns around uh, before getting the grab. Great start for the, uh, for the Toucan, though. Yeah, definitely getting that mana kill off the bat. Super important. Good DI mix up there with going for back throw, keeping him on the platform to get that down smash. Okay. Yep, and that will do it. Super hard for Sopo to get any kind of hype with that side B. Oh, and the quick shakeout. Very important for Diplomatic Toucan. Even at 67%, was able to get out. I like the way that Army was covering the slide off there. That up air both covers if he does the slide off or if he misses the tech. So. Okay. Covering pretty much everything he could do there, but he should still be living. Oh, it goes for a shortened length that doesn't quite exist, but close. Had the right idea. He needed to do something. Once you start that side B high, you usually kind of have to shorten it because yeah. the opponent's going to cover it <gasps> most of the time. So go for jab reset. Look at these wow. mix ups with the throws. Wow. Army. Going for Toucan with some mix up of his own with oh the, uh, the up B. That was kind of scary because Nano's on one side and Popo's on the other side. It almost looked like a crazy tech chase situation. <laughs> Fair back air, and yeah. Army smartly waiting it out. Yeah. Diplomatic Toucan. Maybe it needs to be a little bit trickier on some of these recoveries. Yeah, especially because Army is just on stage, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of leaving the ledge open. This little walk crouch thing he had going. Like this little 
patient neutral from the Toucan. And yeah, knowing knowing this matchup pretty well, I almost feel like Diplomatic Toucan is kind of overcomplicating it against Sopo to an extent. Because it's just Sopo, so many of Fox's tools will just wall out Sopo completely, like up tilt, back air, things like that. But it seems like he's still kind of playing it as if there's two Ice Climbers in terms of his approach to the neutral. Yeah, giving a lot of respect, right? And honestly, I feel like Army is so scary even with this Sopo. But I do agree with you. He can just be a little right. bit more oppressive. He can just kind of push yeah. forward his game because of yeah. how much worse Popo is. Yeah, I think he just doesn't have enough of a specific game plan once he eliminates Nana. Right. He's been doing a good job Oof. getting it to the Sopo. Yeah. The Po, as Dunk might call it. <laughs> just the Po. Just one Po. 2 -oh. Army right now. Yeah, um, second game looking a little bit more decisive than the first game, but I think as you said, if he um, cleans up his versus Popo game, yeah. he could have a whole different set. For sure, because he's, as you mentioned as well, doing a really good job of killing Nana in general. Ooh, that push off yeah. was super important. Could have been a wobble otherwise. Okay. Ooh, that hurts. Man, that really hurts, because that could have been a KO Nana. Yeah, it's like a one and a half stock swing right there. <laughs> Quick maths. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Okay, gets it that time. Pretty decent. Oh my god, that Waveland. Yeah, the follow in a hurry. Okay. There you go. Oh, but he got his jump back. Oh, that's so stage. Oh, wow. Good smash DI out of that up tilt, though, but still in a terrible spot is Dipl Diplomatic Toucan, but Army not expecting these straight up uppies. He's always expecting at least a slight angle. Oh, my God. that He was expecting that. Yeah. That was a read and a half. Yeah. Definitely saw the future there. That's so Raven type vision <laughs> from Army, but does miss the ledge dash. Not a huge deal with this entire stock lead and Nana back in the fray. And Army is so good at playing with the lead, too. You see him going right for more icicles, playing a little bit more patient, kind of like keeping his his positional advantage rather than like going in too hard against um, the Toucan. Right. Officially, the, the, <laughs> the Toucan. Toucan. <laughs> I'm not even pronouncing it properly with like Toucan. <laughs> I think Toucan is a funnier pronunciation. It definitely is. Oh, <laughs> oh. I think he wanted the, the shine again, but realized that maybe he wouldn't have recovered. Opted for the side B, or it could have just been a missed hit. These up smashes are kind of working out well, but because Nana's not at the high enough percent. Yeah. Well, oh, he got it that yeah. time. I, I like the fact that he's going for it raw. It shows a lot of uh, confidence because. Not a lot of players would go for something semi-risky like that against Ice Climbers. Right. Oh my god. He's, he's getting stuck in those kind of positions so many times where he gets kind of yeah. clipped off, and then he does the up at not a position where he can grab the ledge. Right. So he's just going to get down smash or forward smash or something. Oh, Whoa. That's, not, that's not a thing. That was Army. Sick. Army. What a oh. setup. Oh my god. Army. That was super nice. Especially because on the last hit, he thought he was going to get comboed, right? So he just yeah. DI'd super hard against uh, the F smash, I think it was. Right. Jeez. Yeah, he was trying to maybe DI away from a grab leading into a wobble yeah. or something like that. But that That's ended wild. up uh, hurting a lot. That wow, was kind of crazy. I think, from Army. I think the game one was fine. Game one was fine for yeah. the Toucan. And then the other two games were just kind of... A little bit. Yeah, I think there was a lot of sloppiness on the recoveries and also just on the verse Sopo play, as I mentioned. He just kind of had the same game plan against Sopo as against both Ice Climbers, where he's playing relatively safe, not pushing the advantage that he had enough. Yeah. And, uh, and again, just not keeping it simple to some extent. That's kind of the game plan against Sopo because Fox does have these options that almost completely nullify Sopo neutral. Yeah. But he was kind of playing the same sort of general neutral as he was against both yeah. climbers, which allowed Army to find the openings as I, Sopo. I think so, yeah. He really didn't push that advantage. The other thing is I think he didn't recover the greatest. Like, he didn't go onto ledge yeah. very often. Um, as mentioned, that last couple stops, yeah, he would like get clipped. He just, just kind of fell. fell past it yeah. when it looked like he could have grabbed it, and obviously right. that's what you want to do. You never want to have to use your side B or up B right. if, if possible. But right. uh, yeah, either way, Army making uh, making quick work of that, definitely taking advantage of maybe some clubs from uh, 
That was for top eight, so ARMY is in top eight now. Oh, that is top eight, yeah, because hmm. all these winner sets are actually just win and you're in. Yeah, and then he's going to be able to play tomorrow, winner side of uh, top eight, so that's yeah. going to be a scary contender for whoever gets to play him. Right. Now we got Fiction versus Null, another top eight qualifier here on the winner side.